Jared Poland Frono's photo dot com and this is your oh, another one photo news fix this fix is brought to you by data color and their all-new spider x creator kit this kit is perfect for photography videography and digital design whatever your creative pursuit the spider creator kit includes the tools you need the kit includes the spider x pro which is data colors most accurate and fastest easiest monitor calibrator ever it also includes the color reader easy which allows you to scan the flat surface of any color and match it to savage backgrounds or even paint color that means if gritty was laying here flat in front of me, we could scan him and match the exact orange. Round out the kit, there's the Spider tripod, Spider shelf, and Spider X USB-C adapter. This kit normally sells for $279.99, but from now until 6-30-21, you can get the special introductory price of $199.99. That's like a savings of $80 if my math is correct. It's correct. I checked it before I wrote the script. For more information and to pick yours up, head on over to datacolor.com slash pro. First up, the Pulitzer Prize for distinguished example of breaking news photography in black and white or color, which may consist of a photograph or photographs, has been awarded to the photography staff of Frono's Photo, I mean the Associated Press, for their collection of photographs from multiple cities in the U.S. that captured the country's response to the death of George Floyd. This collection of photos included the now iconic image of a protester carrying an upside down American flag in front of a burning building. For winning the prize, the AP was awarded $15,000 thousand dollars which in the grand scheme of things doesn't really matter because it means a hell of a lot more to say you're a Pulitzer Prize winning photographer. Now if I'm not mistaken this is the first time that a Pulitzer Prize has been won from a Sony camera. And the winner for best feature photography is Emilio Morinati of the Associated Press. He won for a poignant series of photographs that takes viewers into the lives of the elderly in Spain struggling during the COVID-19 pandemic. Take a minute and look at these images and try not to get emotional. The images were captured around Emilio's home in Spain where he got around on his electronic scooter. Here's a quote that was posted from the AP. Morinati separated himself from his family for months to avoid the risk of exposure as he documented the toll of COVID-19 on the elderly. He credited half the award to his wife, who took care of their children, and the other half to his colleagues. Now that's dedication. That's insane. The photo story is sad, but it's also fantastic. Congratulations to all of the winners. Next up in the rumor portion of Fix, we have a few possible updates on the Canon R3 and the future of APS-C cameras from Canon. The biggest question surrounding the EOS R3 is how many megapixels the sensor will have. I personally don't think that it will have a ton of megapixels. I've said I could see it being somewhere around 21 to 24, and now Canon Rumors is saying that two anonymous sources Try to remain anonymous. have told them that it will sport a 30 megapixel sensor. Now, I cannot confirm that it will have or won't have 30 megapixels, but to be honest, 30 megapixels sounds like a pretty good number. Ah, Though I do ah, enjoy the 50 that I have in my Sony A1. That's why we use A1. With that being said, it also looks like a few photographers photographing the G7 Summit have already gotten their hands on the the R3 with one shooter making this comment. Now, before I read the quote, don't shoot the messenger. I, I could still say that, right? The shoot the messenger thing. Shoot the messenger. Um, because look, I didn't say the quote. I am just reading the quote. I am an icon shooter. Today, I've seen the Canon R3 and I've seen the future. I've seen the future and it works. Got over 10,000 pounds worth of Nikon DSLR gear and it's worthless. Wouldn't get more than 3,000 pounds in trade for it all now. DSLR is dead. Well, first off, 10,000 pounds of gear isn't really that much for a professional. 10 pounds of shit in a five pound bag. And two, if you're just seeing that mirrorless is the future now, where the hell have you been for the past few years? <laughs> Oh, that's right. You've been a Nikon shooter. That explains so much. Plus, there hasn't been a pro mirrorless for you to buy anyway. This is triggering me. Look, 
don't yell at me for pointing out the facts because you're angry. I'm angry too. How about that? I need space. The next rumor that was shared is that Canon will be putting out three RF mount APS-C sensor cameras in the next year or so. This makes complete sense as the EOS M mount needs to die. Now, I don't say that because it's bad. In fact, the M6 Mark II is a fantastic mirrorless camera. It's just that Canon cannot and will not be supporting the M mount much longer, in my opinion. Opinions are like assholes. The rumor says we will see an R7, R8, and entry-level R9, which if I had to guess, might have the Rebel name. Canon has to unify their mounts. One ring to rule. Sony's done it, and Nikon's done it. It has to be done. Hey, guess what? We met our first Kickstarter goal for the Bernie photo book. Now, if you'd like to back it and show your support, head on over to bit.ly slash Bernie photo book. And finally, in a I didn't see that coming kind of way, Nikon Rumors has posted leaked images and specs for what they are saying is a retro style Z mirrorless camera. Nikon Rumors claims that they have confirmed a bunch of specs, including that it will be called the ZFC. I wonder where they got the idea for that name from. It says cough, hold on. <coughs> Sony A7C? Question mark? Damn it. Many years ago, Nikon released what was called the DF, which housed a full frame D4 sensor in a retro inspired body, which was pretty cool, I guess. This time around, it looks like Nikon has opted to go with a crop sensor inside a retro body that's supposedly very thin and shares similar specs to the Z50, which is still one of my favorite personal crop sensor cameras ever. Nikon rumor says that the price with a lens will be $999 and it might be announced in two weeks. They also went on to share what looks to be legitimate leaked images of the forthcoming camera, which shows its super retro design and a bunch of manual dials along with with a red record button for video and possibly what might be a flip out rotatable screen, which makes absolutely no sense on this body, by the way. If you're gonna go retro, go freaking retro. Anyway, the moral of the story is this. If 80% of your fan base is over the age of 60 and can't live without their manual dials or their heart medication, then this is a great move to get them into the mirrorless world. Hell, Fuji's been doing it for years with crop sensor cameras with all of the manual dials that you can spin, and it's worked out pretty well for them. Now, as soon as I know something, you'll know something, un unless I have an NDA. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that's where I'm going to leave it. Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.